Hey guys, what is up? It's Ben here, and I want to apologize for not uploading last week. I actually had problems with my internet, and this week's upload is actually going to be a tutorial because I've had a lot of people actually ask me to do a tutorial on how I do the effects on my text. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to give your text some life and not just make it so it's just kind of a flat limit image layer. Sorry. So obviously, first thing you want to do is open up your banner which you want to do your text effect on, and I'm just going to use this. Uh, template that I made the other day uh, as an example so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the current name that's on you and I'm gonna add my I'm gonna add my own name just for tutorial I guess and I'm gonna upscale that quite a bit and I'm gonna change the font just for this tutorial so you guys can actually oh not to that so I think that's quite bold so you guys can see the kind of effect I'm going for and it's gonna be a bit too big there we go. So, obviously, I need my second name as well. If you've got two names, make sure you do it as two separate text layers. So then you can add um, it's you can add like a color to one and then just white to the other. And it, I think it looks really nice when you have two different names, to be honest. But obviously, you can do you and I'm gonna scale these down because these are way too big. So uh, if you don't know how to do this, you just want to hit Control. Uh, no, sorry, you want to select them both with shift and sh hold shift to keep the kind of aspect ratio and it should stay here. Um, obviously, I already have my guides to keep everything centered. If you don't have to get your guides up, you want to go to view and make sure your rulers are selected. And if it is, you can just literally drag out guides and your guide should just snap to the middle, as you can see. So, yeah, I've already got my guides up. You guys should probably make sure you, does, you have yours up. Because unsender text always puts people off. So to get into tutorial, I'm just going to set my uh, the Azon part of my name. Um, we're going to make this bit part of the white part. So I'm going to go to color overlay and make sure that it's not white, but make sure it's not too much of a gray. So I'm just like an off white, I guess. And mm, yeah, I'm going to keep it like that because the reason why we don't have it a white is so we can have a glow on the inside, which is a white. And obviously, uh, if your text is white, you won't be able to see the glow. And the glow actually gives it a really nice kind of uh, effect. As long as you make it the right size and stuff. Okay, so actually, I'm going to darken this because you can't see the glow right now. To, oh, not strong. In a glow. And um, yeah, that's white. Um, there we go. There we go. So. You want to shrink it down so you can you can still see the gray uh, that you have in your color overlay, but obviously you, you want to see the glow as well. So you you kind of want to it gives it a really nice kind of bevel effect, but not a harsh one, kind of a, a very subtle one. So now we're gonna add a drop shadow, but you really don't want us to be too harsh like it is right now. That's just too much. And to kind of fix that, you just want to turn down your spread and then your past. I think I'm just gonna put it to 50%. So obviously it does make a difference, as you can see, it does make the text kind of stand out, but it's not, it's not too much. So now we're going to go to Bevel and Emboss, and my guy's actually in the way for this. You want to make sure all your settings are the same as mine, so my depth is 550%, my size is 145, and you want to change your angles to 90 and 10. This kind of gives it a nice light effect, you've probably seen this done a lot before. And you want to make sure your colors are one's a gray and one's like an off black. So yeah, I'm just gonna play around with these just a bit so it's not too much. And if you hit Control H on your keyboard, you can actually hide all the guides. So I'm quite happy with how I to know. You can obviously see the difference between this and just the plain designs text. So hopefully you guys are liking this so far. And I'm just gonna hit Control H again. Oh no, H. And uh, now we're going to go into the designs. We're pretty much going to do the same, but for red. So a way to kind of make this a little bit quicker is right click on your the one which you did the effects on. Copy layer style and paste it to the second paste layer style. And obviously we're going to go in and change some sense. But I'll just keep the, the drop shadow and the bevel and the boss kind of all the same. But we're just going to have to change the color overlay now. And we want to find a red that's not too bright. Because obviously you're going to do your glow thing again. But you... You want it to be a nice red, you don't want it to be too dark, because obviously your text is kind of the main thing that people are gonna, you want people to see, so you want it to be quite bright. 
Okay, so I'm gonna... Mm, I don't know if you can see the glow enough right now. Obviously, you guys can just play around with this. Depends what colors you're using. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. So we have the... the you can see the glow. Uh, that's quite nice. So you're just going to hit OK. And I'm just going to check everything. So, okay. so this is kind of... You could just stop here and leave your text. But I'm going to go do a couple other things you guys might like uh, to do with your text. And to do this, I'm just going to select both my layers by holding... Uh, control and click on both and then hit control J and this will actually duplicate your layers So now what you want to do is I'm just gonna I'm only duplicating them. So I have a backup to go to so I'm just gonna call this folder backup and um, Then I'm gonna hit these two layers and basically what I'm gonna be doing is turning them into an image So you can't edit them anymore and you want to do that by selecting them both again and clicking a bit too small object and then it's just one well, you want to make sure actually you hide your backup layer. Then it's just kind of one layer which you can just ooh, not do that with. Like, you can just move about as one kind of thing. So I'm going to have to recenter that. And you can just do that with your arrow keys. Now I'm going to show you kind of a nice stroke effect I see a couple of people using. So to do this, you just want to hit control and the kind of like box rectangle thing next to the actual name. And it should just outline it all in this kind of dotted line. And you want to go to your select, modify, and expand. I'm going to expand it by six pixels. Also, you guys can play around with it. Okay, that just moves out the expansion a bit. And you want to go to your mark. I think it's the marquee tool. Yeah. And right click. And I'm going to go to. Oh, I need a new layer. Sorry. You need a new layer. Right click and stroke, and we're actually going to make this nice red. And once you hit OK, you hit Control D. You can see you kind of got an outline around it. Like I'm not sure if I kind of like this effect, but I've seen a lot of people use it. So it it depends on what font you're using, I guess, and stuff like that. But it, I mean, it's just a bit different from just having the normal texts. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys do like me doing tutorials, then let me know by uh, you know commenting down below. And also, if you did enjoy this one, make sure to leave a like, and hopefully I'll see you on my next video.